guys, Joe with OMGRC.com, and today Banggood did send this to us for review. Uh, this is the XLF X03-A, I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it's a 110 scale. It does show here that it is upgradable to a brushless motor. Now, this one already came with the brushless motor. Anyhow, so this is the Sports VXL Racing, all right, uh, 110 scale. And it does show that it says a 1800 milliamp battery. It is a Lion, that's my chicken scratch down at the bottom there, just to kind of use as a reference of the model number. But let's go ahead and check it out on the side over here too. Uh, we can see right there where it says the X-03A is the one that is in the box. And we can say that's a 110 scale, all its little specs there. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over to the other side right here and um, show you guys. So. Um, Radio, not too bad. I'll have to check that one out uh, once you get this thing out. You can see metal shock absorbers, metal dry bone, and um, this show here like a brush motor, but obviously this thing does come with the brushless system in it. Full ball bearings in there as well, 2.2 kilogram, all metal gear, digital servo gears, what have you in it. More of the specs That's of it does say that it goes 60 kilometers, which is roughly around 37 miles an hour. It is an RTR, the only thing that you're gonna need like I said, it's just the three AA batteries for the radio. All right, let's get this thing cracking, guys. How it's all packed in there, too. And I'm sure this thing's got some zip ties holding it all in there. It has a little bit of plastic over just the uh, wheel for the radio, so that's good. Oh, no, this thing comes straight out, out of the box. Okay, good to know. Radio and this little bag right there. Some other little, our USB charger in there as well. With it too. All right, just looking at this thing from the outside, uh, it does look like it has like it's kind of faded, but it's just a film that's over the body to protect it during shipping or transit. So, so we're gonna get, pop that off of there. Pretty cool little brush motor that's in it or brushless. Sorry, beam connection. There's our. It's, this is a two-in-one right here. So this has electronic speed controller and receiver. So, and then our little servo over there. Nothing too fancy at all. And what battery size? So this says 1600 milliamps. Sorry, let me flip it around again here for you. And I know there's a little bit of a glare, so you guys can see it there. So 7.4 volts, 1600 milliamp, whatever large power it means exactly. But um, shocks, so they do have, I'll say that it's kind of like aluminum cap that's on there. Does it have thread bodies on it? No. So, um, you know, that might have in the packaging here, our little wing. But I don't know if it's going to have any kind of shock spacers in it, so I'll have to kind of check that out in a little bit. But just taking a look at it too. Ooh, super bouncy. So, let me get it a little backwards there and show you. Lots of bounce to it. Uh, not oil filled. Can they be oil filled is a great question. We'll have to look, that, look at the instructions and see if they have any kind of seals on them anyhow. So we'll check that one out as well. And, um, Let's see, flip this thing on its bottom. Okay, so it does have, yeah. I was trying to get that off of there. Okay, there you go. So, this, so it's not like a blue piece of plastic or something like that. Uh, so it is aluminum on that part of it too. Your on and off switch on the bottom, interesting. But uh, it's already on, so I'm gonna turn that off so I don't have the car going anywhere when I go, to, go ahead and hook up the battery to it or anything. All right, dog bones or what have you. Let's see here. So they are steel. They're pretty nice looking. They look beefy anyhow, nonetheless. So not too bad. Um, tire compound or so like that. I'd say it's kind of like to a medium or so. It's hard to say right offhand. Does look like rims are pretty nice looking on it. Uh, like I said, the Dean connection that's on there. So that's pretty typical. I do like those. I mean, if it's especially for something like this, it doesn't have a lot of power. So uh, these are just fine as far as the Dean connection that's on there. I was looking before to see if these little lights, um, they do accept light, um, I think LEDs in there as well. So that is kind of nice, not bad. I mean, the plastics on it, I mean, so if you hit something, you know, they do, it will collapse in or whatnot and bounce back. So it's, Good on that deal. Body itself, let's go ahead and take this plastic off so I can show you what it really looks like without the plastic covering over it. Just so you can see this, the difference there before I take that plastic completely off of there too. 
There you go. So it looks good. Fits on there. Actually has a pretty nice little profile to it. Again, it has a wing that goes on there as well, so I'll need to mount that up. So I can show you that guy. Show you that all in its glory. But uh, it's got a mean looking front end to it too. I like it. Nice little profile to it. Um, again, it is four wheel drive. It is ball bearings that are in it. Let me go. All right, so just further inspection on this. Anyhow, is that the, uh, the shocks do have a little rubbered seal on there. So I think we can go ahead and put some oil into the shocks, which will be nice and it won't be so bouncy as we can see here. So that's good. Make sure I don't lose a little diaphragm. I think they call it like a diaphragm or whatever. Anyway, even just the, the drivetrain alone, as you can see in there, you know, it's all metal. So that's nice. Even just the drive shaft itself is a uh, metal. So good. Now I will say one thing is I'm not hundred percent sure what the servo size is it's kind of in between a micro servo and a standard servo that you'd find like in a regular, one tenth scale. This is a one tenth scale, but it's not using a standard servo scale. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, but it is using a three wire instead of the five wire type servo wires that you'd find in these where they're kind of a two in one system. So that is kind of nice. The electronic speed controller is a 40 amp. Uh, again, just running on a 2S LiPo, a little brushless motor that's in there. I did see a little bit of grease that they have on the outside here. Um, not too, I'm not really sure about that, but I need to probably wipe that down because it's going to be a dirt magnet anyways. Uh, when it comes to the battery itself, so we just got to slide this thing out and uh, it can accommodate a few different size batteries. So if you notice here, you can, you can spin this thing. So that's way, if you look at it this way, kind of show you the batteries in there pretty good. You know, it's not wobbling around, but if I spin it around and then lock it in, you can see this. The battery just kind of floats around in there. So that way, if you do go with a little bit bigger battery or so, it will accommodate not only a little bit of height, but a little bit, you know, as far as its length too. So that's good. Um, it does have a little extra foam here. So just in case maybe that foam goes bad or if you need to use it on your battery. So that is cool. Uh, the charger itself, it is just a USB charger. As you can see, it takes about four hours what they're predicting to uh, get a full charge battery, a little Lion battery. And uh, there's the actual little parts for it, as far as when it comes to your little Phillips screwdriver and your little wheel wrench. You get some extra little body clips, which is good because when you're jumping and crashing and bashing and whatnot, those tend to want to fly off. Um, you get Since you get the Phillips screwdriver too, which is pretty much the only tools that you're going to need to tear this thing all apart. Uh, it already has the screws in here, so you need to take those screws out. Then you can fit that right into those holes there. Just put them in there and then you can drive those screws right down into these little holes right there and there so just put them in through the top so that'll be good on that part of it uh, going over the radio itself no thrills on this one man so it just has steering trim so just in case the car is going to the left or the, to the right uh, you can adjust that your little off and on or i should say off and then on <laughs> that way uh, the trigger on it it's not too bad and it's got a little foam grip that's on there. Usually, I notice in my videos, I say rubber, even though it's a foam grip. It tends to happen sometimes. Um, and then also your three double A's at the bottom. So that's kind of nice. It's just three double A's. I don't know what the range is on it, but I've had pretty good experiences with other ones that have only been three double A's, and I've been pretty happy with it. Um, anyhow, so the trigger's pretty nice on it. And like I said, those are the tools. Now, as far as the instructions go um, too, so there you go, as far as the radio goes on it, and then also when it comes to connecting your battery, your little Dean's connection or T-style connection, whatever you wanna call it, show you how that gets all connected as well. Your little off and on button that's there. It shows you where it is on the chassis to turn the vehicle on. So not bad, it shows you like the trim and all that. And then it gives you exploded view here as well. And then at the very end of it too, it just give you kind of your spare parts so if you do happen to break something or whatever, you can look in the back of your manual, which is good to keep that uh, on hand. So that way, if that does happen, you can find the part that you need for your vehicle. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. There it is. Anyhow, the 110 scale truck VXL racing. Interesting. Uh, high speed. So we'll see how, how high speed this vehicle is in just a couple of days. Anyway. Uh, if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's something that you want to go over as far as, or maybe you want to say, hey, you missed something or whatnot. But um, yeah, let me know about that servo too. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. You guys take care and thank you again. I'll put the affiliate links, like I said, down in the description below. And I'm out. You guys take care. Later.
Thank <laughs> you.